6.36 the time. It's the taboo no one really talks about at work. How much do they earn? So how comfortable would you be about sharing the details of your wage with your colleagues? Well, yesterday, an ex-employee of Google did just that when she released a spreadsheet displaying the salaries of her former co-workers, which they had voluntarily given to her. But is this a good idea? We've been finding out what some of you think. Sometimes it's quite harsh because there's younger people who do the exact same job as you who are earning £2.50 two less an hour and they're just as good, if not sometimes better at the job, so... Especially with taxing, people kind of get a little bit jealous, so I just kind of keep myself to myself and you're better off just let, not letting anybody know what you earn. I'm not bothered. If, if people want to know how much I earn for what I do, doesn't bother me. It's got nothing to do with other people really, has it? It's, it's down to an individual. Particularly if you have a good salary, I think people will probably tend to not want to talk about it even more because people might begrudge it. You don't want to brag and you don't want to be embarrassed either. I think it's a bit of an English thing, keeping your cars close to your chest. So lots of different uh, views on whether they want to say or not. Uh, joining us in the studio, Derek Burton, who's co-founder of Cougar Automation, a company that tra has transparency over its salaries. Luke Hildyard from an independent think tank which advises on issues of pay. So uh, let's, let's do this straight away. Are, are you both prepared to say how much you earn? Well, in my that was already embarrassing. In, in my case, it's already published on the High Pay Centre website because right. we're very critical. But you wouldn't of, say that. Uh, are you pay. saying that's different? I mean, you, you wouldn't say it out loud. Is that awkward? Uh, I'd rather not put it on uh, okay. yeah, on TV, but it is on our website if right. uh, if anyone wants well, to. Well, it's perfectly. I mean, I'm not trying to put you in a corner. That's fair enough. But that it almost illustrates. The I'm, issue I'm we're talking perfectly about. happy to share my salary with all of my colleagues. It's published. Um, everybody knows it. Um, but if you want to know it, you'd have to join Cougar Automation. So that's okay. what, that's what the, your policy is in your company, isn't it? Everybody, does everybody know what everybody else uh, is paid? Absolutely. How absolutely. much difference has that absolutely. made? Do you know, um, pay transparency is just one example of complete trust, openness and transparency across the whole business. So by the time we came to do it, it just seemed like one small incremental step. Um, mm. And you know what? I think people just shrugged their shoulders and said to themselves, yeah, that's very Cougar. It's removed it completely as a topic of gossip and speculation. Um, uh, and people just get on with it. And can you say hand on heart that it hasn't caused... I mean, I, I guess in a way it's when it starts that the potential for problems is there. When, if there are discrepancies, they emerge for the first time. If, it, if it's established ten years on, you know, that, that's been levelled out. Yes. Was there a, a point at which, when you uh, first did it, there were issues? I don't remember any, but 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 I can recognise what you, the potential for for what you're saying. So I think the business has to be ready for it. Um, you, you have to have total transparency. So we we publish everything. We publish the the, uh, the the profit, the customer feedback, the individual performance. There's nothing about the business that you couldn't know. So pay is one important factor. Um, the first thing we did have to do, immediately before we did this, we did away with all personal but all individual bonuses, those sort of opaque things that nobody quite understands where they come from or why they're paid. Mm. Um, so that was wrapped into everybody's salary. Um, and if there were any anomalies, uh, of course, that brings that out, out in the open. Um, and over time, that will be eroded. Uh, I don't think people expect to be paid the same as everybody else, but they do expect to be paid fairly um, mm. and, you know, to recognise their value to the business. Um, Luke, what do you think of this idea that... This, so this lady, she's gone round, she's had conversations with, with se se hundreds, I think it is, of her colleagues and then published them in, in, to try and get fair pay. Do you think... Is, is that a way to get fair pay? Does it make a difference? I think... Uh, probably it does. If you can see what you're getting in relation to everybody else, it puts you in a, a better position to uh, to know whether what you're getting is fair and to argue that you should perhaps be, be getting paid a bit more. Mm. And the government's trying to change some things with, with regards to this and, and, and get more transparency. Yeah, that's right, uh, on gender-related issues. What we've also argued for is that uh, the government should be publishing or forcing employers to publish a pay ratio between the highest paid employee and the, uh, the average worker. Um, at the moment, it's very difficult to, uh, to get that information. People, mm. uh, I think, would find it quite surprising to know how much they get in relation to their, uh, you know, to their chief executive. The, the ratio of FTSE 100 company, for example, has gone up from being 
about 20 to 1, the, the CEOs, the average worker in the early 80s, to 50 or 60 to 1 in the 90s, to about 150 to 1 today. So, so Derek, you're ahead of the curve in many ways. What was, why did you choose to do in the first place? What, where, where did you see it working? Why did you think it needed doing? On the particular narrow issue of pay transparency, this wasn't some mission we were on to, to, to go particularly down this route. We almost stumbled across it by accident. When we were revising our pay structure, we wanted to offer people um, a, a visible way of progressing regularly. So we, we have a sort of series of martial arts coloured bands, about 25 very narrow bands that you can progress up year on year. The traditional way uh, that we used to have was we, we had a sort of junior engineer, an engineer, a senior engineer, uh, and you're lucky if you had a promotion every 10 years or so. Um, so that's where we started. We wanted to get much, a series of much na more narrow bands, and the pay transparency sort of fell out of that and mm. fitted with our already very open culture. Thank you. Yes, thank you both. Uh, Luke Hilliard and uh, Derek Burton. Thank you both. I think you're back here later. So if people have got questions, um, if they've got opinions as well, you know how to get in touch. You can email us, uh, you can tweet us and you can follow the programme as well.